Please dislike or like, The Shrine 2010, the film starts with a place where rituals, magic, etc. are done. Here a man who was a worker of a company was about to be done magic on him. There was a cult nearby who used to do black magic, they were wearing black hoods and tied to the worker. They put a mask on the worker's face after which a hammer is hit on his mask. His whole face was crushed due to which he dies. This cult started doing some magic which looked like they were sacrificing humans to the devil and even after ending this worker, they did the same. After this, we see a reporter girl named Carmen and from now on, we will call Carmen as I. Now Carmen means I, she was always busy with her work, I was looking for new stories. Because of this habit of mine, my friend was not happy because I could not give him time. My friend told me that Carmen, spend some time with me. On which I told her that look, I love my work very much. If I don't pay attention to it, then my future, my plans, my thoughts, everything will be ruined on this, my friend felt bad. When I got the news of the worker's disappearance, I went to my boss and he was a worker of our company. I told my boss the story of his disappearance. I also told him that the area where he had gone to Rome, there were many more tourists everyone's stuff was found from different places. I think something has gone wrong with those tourists and workers and now I want to make a report on them but my boss refused by saying this is a useless story and the disappearance of the tourists was just a coincidence. The boss told me to look for another story and write a report on it because if we write this story, it will be useless because there is no strength in it, it will not be fun. Now I felt very bad about this from my boss because I knew that something had gone wrong with that worker of our company, but the boss was only considering this story. Then I went to that worker's mother with one of my friends to inquire. The worker's mother told us that I had written a report of my son's disappearance but the police are not investigating this case because they are not getting any evidence. I have also brought back all the stuff of my son which is exactly the same as my son had taken. Hearing this, I asked his mother, can I check his stuff? When his mother gave permission, I searched for that worker's stuff and found a diary. When I read the diary, there was a place on the last page written about Albania which I understood. This means the worker must have gone to Albania and did not come back from there. I asked the worker's mother, can I keep your son's diary with me? I have to investigate something. On it, his mother gives me permission. I came in the car and told my friend that the truth of the worker's disappearance is hidden in Albania and now we will go there to investigate. This case sat in my mind. When I was in my room at night, suddenly the window of my room opened. I felt weird but when I closed the window and turned, I saw the soul of the worker in the worst condition blood was coming from the eyes, he screams and says stay away from me, don't think about me. Seeing this, I got scared and suddenly, my eyes opened. Then I breathed in that I was just seeing a dream. The next day I went to my friend and apologized to him for my bad behavior and asked him, will you go to Albania with me? But he refused. Saying no, I will not go with you at all because I know, you are taking me with you for your own purpose. The next day, when I went to the office, my boss gave me a topic and told me to make a report on it but what did I do? I threw that file because I had a topic already on which I had to make a report, means of the worker. In the meantime, my friend called and was saying, okay Carmen, I am ready to go with you. After it, the next day we leave for that place. On the way, I was reading the worker's diary, in which it was written there is no hotel here to stay. That's why I am staying in a bar. The worker had also written that there is a village having strange people, moreover, there is a forest in the village where there is a strange kind of fog and these villagers forbid everyone to go there. After reading this, I got into thinking what kind of place is that? About which the worker wrote. Now when I and my two friends went to that village, so really the people there were strange because they were staring at us. It felt like they didn't like us coming here and they want us to leave from here. In this village, we meet a little girl who was nervous, I asked the girl, are you happy in this village? On this, the girl clearly said no, not at all. Then I showed her the picture of the worker and asked okay, do you know her? The girl was scared to see the picture. She was going to tell something that's when her dad came and started getting angry at the girl. He scolded and said what are you saying here? And you had been forbidden to talk to strangers now go from here and the girl also quietly left from there. Seeing such behavior of her dad, we felt strange so we also moved on from there, I saw a church ahead outside of which fathers and sisters were standing who were praying for the people. Now the sign on the church means the cross was not as it should be. From this, we did not understand whether they are really Christians or not or whether they have some other religion. That's when we see a fog in the middle of the forest about which the worker had seen in his diary. We were really surprised to find the fog here, then we decide to go there but when we were leaving. 
Then the villagers came and stopped us and forced us to run away from there so we came in our car and sat down and we were talking about that why are the villagers stopping us? Why are they not letting us go to the forest? Maybe they are hiding something from us. There is something that the villagers do not want us to know about it, I told my friend undoubtedly people are stopping us but we should go there and see what is there? To which my friend replied look, this is not a good idea you have not seen the villagers are so furious. They will end us if we got capture but I insisted and he agrees so we leave for that place. We reached there and get shocked to see that the fog was thick and deep than the ordinary fog, now I want to move inside but my friend stopped me and we were arguing on this, my female friend moves inside it and disappears. We waited for her return but when he didn't return I also moved inside the fog. As I move inside I feel someone's presence and feels like someone is watching me. Meanwhile, my friend moved our and was looking worried and my friend asked seeing her condition what happened? Then he asked did you see Carmen inside? She said no, moving inside the fog I saw a devil statue. It was Sakari and it was holding someone's heart in hand so I took its picture to put it on my report but Han I moved to the other side for taking the picture, I get scared to see that the statue also turned its head. It was looking at me, I become surprised that how it turned its head? Then its eyes start bleeding and the heart in its hand starts beating, seeing this, I got scared. Meanwhile, there were scary voices coming from surroundings so I run out of the fog I was panicked and asked my friend what did she see inside? She replied a statue then a girl comes to us when we were leaving and said I know where is the worker whom you are looking for. Saying this, she takes us to a shrine and says the worker is inside. When we move inside there were boxes like coffins and as we removed their lids there were dead bodies and their condition was worst because they were decomposed, there were the strange masks on their faces that we saw at the beginning placed on the worker's face. We also find the worker's body and seeing him, we felt the villagers are a cult who sacrifice people for devil to the devil whose statue is in the fog, later, we find out the girl ran away while shutting the door. She had locked us here but thankfully my friend broke the door and we came out. We see many people coming to this side to capture us when we come out, we ran and hide at a place. One of my friend's condition gets worse and then the villagers capture us while reaching here they throw water on us while lying us down on the ground and then took us to their leader while tying our hands. The leader and his companions were wearing the same hood as the cult members were wearing at the start of the movie. The leader decides while seeing in my and my friend's eyes that he will scare us for devil while he decides to make our friend his slave, they took me and my friend into the shrine. Our friend was taken separately, there was a cult inside wearing black hoods, they tear our clothes and make us wear white clothes, after it, the leader comes and starts staring at us. He decides to sacrifice my friend first and then I was locked in jail, they lay down my friend on stone and tie his hands and feet the next moment, they did something which makes my condition worst, they separate my friend's hand and feet. Later, the leader was casting spells, when my fiend sees his face, it was a demon. They make him wear the same mask as the worker wear, there were two nails on the mask which will stab his eyes. The leader picks up a hammer after casting spells and hits it on the mask, due to it, the mask stabbed in my friend's eyes. He was ended brutally now outside, my friend was asked to dig a gar forcefully and as the attention of the men divert my friend mistakenly attacked him, his gun fell down and my friend makes him faint while beating him. He lifts up the gun and moves to escape me, he comes to the shrine and sees our friend has died and they are putting him in the box. Then he comes to me, now because it was my turn next, a man comes to take me out of jail, he attacked him while pushing him and them run away while taking me with him. He locked him there but on the way, I feel like vomiting and there were scary voices coming from the surroundings. My friend consoles me and says don't worry there is a house in front and we will escape while taking their car. Coming inside my friend points gun at them and asks tell me where are car keys? Now because that family doesn't understand English so they don't understand what is he saying, the villagers have broken the shrine door and they were finding us. My friend tied that family and asks tell me where is the key? The family want to say something in their language but my friend couldn't understand and their son knows a little bit English and says I know where is the key. Suddenly, my condition gets worse and I started getting scared because I am seeing demons everywhere. They were ugly and don't have eyes, have round face and teeth were strange and scary, I got scared. That's why I hide in a room, that boy took my friend in the kitchen and taking the key, my friend tied his hands. I suddenly, see a demon in the mirror when I was in the room and it possessed me. It was now inside me and my condition becomes weird because of it, I screamed loudly hearing it, my friend and the whole family get scared and they were surprised as well. My friend gets so scared that he commies to me with gun and the demon inside me attacks the family. 
Later, it ends them and starts eating their skin and seeing it, my friend's condition gets worse and I caught my friend's neck because that demon has possessed me completely, the demon says to my friend I have eaten Huma flesh and drunk their blood, I love both things that's why I will kill you today. Before he could kill my friend, a cult member comes here with a cross, as he places the cross in front of demon he leaves my friend. The cult member says to demon leave this body, on it, the demon says no this can't be happen, I will end Carmen and everyone. After it, the demon starts attacking all the cult members and beating them seeing this, the man throws holy water on demon to save his companions because of which the demon uses its powers that it burnt the cross and then attacked that man, the demon stabbed a wood in his belly and he dies. As he dies the other boy in the cult makes demon drinks the holy water and attacks demon. He stabs a sword in demon's chest, as the demon becomes weak they make it lay down the boy says tie her hands and feet immediately and they stabbed knife in her hands and feet. After it, the mask was brought here but when they make her wear the mask the demon was shaking her head seeing it, my friend holds her herd tightly, the boy also hits the hammer but till then I came into my senses. It was too late, the mask stabbed in her eyes and Carmen also dies because of this. The demon escaped from there, now they think what should they do with my friend? Because he discovered the reality of this village and will tell this to everyone. Later, the next morning, they allow my friend to leave, before leaving, my friend asks what is in this village? The boy tells that our village is cursed that can't be broken, the statue that is in fog is of a dangerous devil whoever sees it, the devil possessed that person like it did to Crayman and her friend. That's the reason we used to stop the tourists to visit that place, they see devil's statue and the devil possessed them and came inside them that's why we had to perform a ritual and sent devil back to hell. Likewise, that person also had to lost life, that's why the villagers want you people to leave because when you will see the devil, you will have to lost your life after being possessed. The worker also came in this village and lost his life because of seeing the statue. This wasn't the cult who used to do magic willingly but it was a cult who don't want devil to come here ever. That's why they have to do all this even they don't want to. Here concludes this movie.